Okay. We're Don and Heather. I like Don and Heather. Heather and Don. Don and Heather. Sounds here to go. Amazing. Here to stay. Ship us. I don't know if she uses fit at this point. You can say, you can ship us. You, you add Don and Heather, so it would be Dether. Because <laughs> when you when you We're relationship. Han. <laughs> that will make you sneeze. Huh. <laughs> oh, I hope you're prepared. Do you have questions? I, I told you ish. I hate your ishes. So ish. we get to talk about um, the idea behind the video uh, was a behind the scenes fun, goofy. Uh, not everyone gets to see Heather um, the way that I get to see her. And there's I don't, a reason I don't know for that. that comes out right. I don't know. There's a reason. There's a reason. Um, so here we go. We just get to talk. We're going to brainstorm. Um, first up on the agenda is our, in my mind, kindergarten. So when we open up future center stages, we're absolutely going to mm -hmm. have kindergarten as part of what we do. Maybe so one exciting. class. Uh, it's yes. extremely exciting. Mm -hmm. So we're licensed for ages three to six. And what that means is that. We can do, we can yeah. work with kids ages three to six. Uh, our kindergarten program is gonna be phenomenal. Um, mm -hmm. I really wanna hear from you about the uh, the reading aspect because based on what you said earlier, wow. um, the reading piece is gonna be something, I can't hold on to my pen. The reading piece is gonna be um, an amazing component that makes us really special, really, really different. Take it away, Heather. Wow, well, there's a lot of controversy about reading. I didn't know, you know if anybody knows that, but as a person who has grown up, you know, when I was young, I was diagnosed with dyslexia. And that was like, you know, 450 years ago. And they didn't have... That explains a lot. Um, they didn't have a lot to say about it then, and they weren't sure how to approach it. And then on top of that, I was ADD. So my heart is really into this reading thing, because once I was taught how to read... Um, again, the way that my brain learns how to read, a whole world was opened up to me and all the frustration and being in special classes and you get labeled really early. It just was, it was horrible. It was horrible to feel like I'm a normal kid, but I keep being taken out of mainstream because my brain doesn't look at the words in a book the way other people's do. And it was really difficult. So anyway, I have a real heart for, for reading. But there's a lot of controversy about reading because everybody goes at it in a different way. And also they argue, like like this politics stuff, the, the same amount of passion and uh, different sidedness of like where we stand on how we view things, reading brings out some crazy opinions and like stance. Like I'm going to put my, my stake in the ground here because this is what's right. And then another person saying that exact same thing like on the other side. So what, what are some of the sides? You got like sight words, uh, I'm sure sight words versus like, sounding things out. Yes, we've got like phonics, um, sight words. We've got learning the letters first. We've got uh, only teaching um, uppercase versus lowercase to start. I mean, all of this goes into just like how the mind works, the development of the child. Um, I am studying right now and in, in, investigating some of the best reading programs and why. So it's not just this is a highly ranked reading program, but I, as a dyslexic person and a mom, want to know why. And does it hit everyone? Does it hit a variety? Because we just can't keep doing what we're doing if even the teachers aren't being um, teachers in school to become teachers. They don't really, there isn't um, a necessary... I don't even know how to say it. There isn't a school of thought in some ways. They, they call it... Um, they call it gradual gradual resistance or gradual so it's, it's almost as if the child themselves will teach themselves as they gain momentum in learning their letters and sight words mm -hmm. so it'll be a gradual release is what it's called okay. um for me with a dyslexic person we don't necessarily have a spell check so there's never a gradual release mm -hmm. so there's this frustration of everyone's kind of grasping the concept of moving forward and then you're stuck at the finish you're stuck at you know the beginning not knowing anything that you knew before. So I really want to implement an amazing reading program. And if anybody's watching this, send me stuff. I know I know whoever you are, you feel very strongly about it because that's <laughs> that's the information I'm getting. I know I feel strongly, but I feel strongly as an as a child advocate and as a person for for myself. Um, so I really want to know. I really want to know what works. What are the stats that back it up? What is the research that backs it up? 
And I want to be able to start it not just in kindergarten, right. but I want to start with the four-year-olds. Right, right. Well, all of it builds, of course. You start with the letters when they're little, but um, I really want to start um, whatever program it is to really kind of branch out, start them as young as we can, so they really have some structure to stand on. Can you imagine if they knew how to read when they left us and we're going into kindergarten so empowered? Oh, it just, it, ah, I feel very passionate about it. I'm very excited. I could have just, I would have been president. And we would have been arguing about a whole other different things if I could read better I when I was little. That I, I think I could. Heather for president. Um, so yeah. No, that's exciting. And uh, I was hoping you were going to bring that up, the idea that we're going to start them earlier. So we got this, yes. this kindergarten program that's going to be amazing. Um, and then to be able to introduce it into our preschool so that as, yes. if someone starts with us from the time that they're three years old, they can, they can go all the way through their six. They're going to be uh, finishing kindergarten. Yes. Um, and really, and we're already really pushed, prepared. Yeah, we already pushed the um, vocabulary and a voice mm -hmm. and a choice and speaking up for yourself and your your feelings have, have um, words attached to them so we can say this is how I'm doing or this is how I'm feeling. So that just kind of really woven into that gold thread of you feel good about you and without you our school isn't the same and we're all part of this community and this divergent thought of of whoever you are you bring something valuable to our program yeah. to, to give somebody the capacity to read it, it that's a gift I, I thought about this the other day i feel like i i take for i have taken for granted until we started talking about this how I mean, you know okay reading is important yeah it's important but it's like it's what we do every day. Every single day. Every single day. If you couldn't read or if there's if there's a problem, then how do you yeah. how do you do what you do? You could push calculus down my throat, but I'd be like, I I can honestly say as a 44 year old, I have never used it ever. Reading, however, every single day, no matter who you are and yeah. whatever. And of course we all know that we take that for granted, but this is a big deal to set our kids up right because it's right now where we decide who we are. Mm -hmm. Right now as a little one in this age is between three to six. We decide, are we smart? Are we strong? Um, do we make good friends? Am I, um, am I a bad kid or a good kid? They, we carry, we get these labels at this age. We, we put them on ourselves and we kind of take them with our life. This is where we decide who we are and what we feel about school and how we feel about school when we're in that environment. So I think we have to guard this time with everything that we have and um, empower them to kind of take on their little world in the in the places that they shine and, and and how they are strong and with every single child that means being a strong reader i, I really believe that so anyway i'm very to talk about for days but we won't but i love it oh it's good stuff yeah so, uh, tell me about um summer camp so we have summer camp coming up and we've had people ask you know do you do you continue through the summer if we're in the preschool mm -hmm. program do we have to stop during the summer or can we go we have so center stage we can we can accommodate for preschoolers we have morning only uh, we accommodate for families that need us five day, full day mm -hmm. for childcare. And so come summertime, we can't just up and stop. Uh, we continue to roll. Um, our curriculum changes. Yes, sir. Um, but we keep on doing what we do. Uh, so tell me some of the themes that we're, we're, we're rolling with uh, this coming summer. Okay, so I'm still brainstorming and putting together some of our summer camp situations. But um, as it stands, summer camp will be exactly like our curriculum, the way we're doing it now. The same time drop off, the same meal selections, the same um, smiling faces and teachers that care for you, except we will do a thematic basis every other week. So it'll be Under the Sea or Legoland or Pirates and Princesses. And then we'll branch off of that into our activities, into um, art, into music. So it will be instead of, you know, I think everybody needs a break from curriculum. I really do. We all need a fresh start in a time when we can just have fun, but we still need structure and parents still have to go to work. So I feel like it should be fun something so different and and even walking in the school when it all looks different so if it's under the sea week you know stuff's hanging from the ceiling and we kind of feel like we're there and we we investigate you know pirate ships that have sunk in and there's just so many fun things we can do and act out and a lot of the dramatic arts will come into play and we'll be dressing up a lot um i just think that it will be a lot of fun it'll grab their attention and they won't even kind of feel like they're at preschool it, it, it'll be preschool but with a kick. Yeah. That's what I say. I like it. Thank you. I like it a lot. What else? What else is happening big? Well, um, the big thing is um, uh, we are so, we're almost full. Yes. That's oh my word. News. We're That's almost crazy. full. So we've been open 
Uh, I feel like this has been like a, a, a forever lifetime project, but we really Two only started... Two years for me, but five and a half months for the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we started like August 29th, just call it September, September, October, November, December, here we are, or oh, January, sorry, February 1st. So um, September, October, November, December, January, so five wow. full months. Maybe this is math. the... May, math might be my, my strong subject. <laughs> um, so we're at the start of our sixth month, we're almost full by the time this coming fall comes. I'm quite confident that we will, especially with yes. the kindergarten uh, class. We'll have one class of 15. Yes, sir. One class of 15. Um, and they'll have their own zone. Yeah. And it's kindergarten gonna be, zone. It's going to be awesome. Like there'll be some, uh, the way we have our building structure, there'll be you know, at any one time, or during the day, your child, if you're uh, going to put a kindergarten with us, will have set times when it's just him, him or her. One child plus two others and a teacher. Um, and the ratios are going to stay really, really small, really mm -hmm. tight. Um, All throughout their day. Throughout the entire day. Yes. They're still, especially if they do extended care with us. That's right. They're still going to get the theater and the drama and the art and the everything that makes center stage, center stage. So that's really cool. Yes. So by the time fall comes around, we're going to be full, which um, which makes me start brainstorming and start thinking uh, I hate when you do this. future, like what's yes. next. What's so next? So the next one. So we've already started looking at new buildings. Um, we've already started looking at new areas to, to move into. One of the things I'm really excited about, and I know that, that we're all on board with this, is the, um, the idea that we don't want our, our centers to be like this great big monstrosity. No. So I know in Ashburn they just had a, a, a new one open up that's, I want to say like it's 15. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It is an amazing, yeah. it, and there's room for everyone. Yeah, it like, is a beautiful site. I think it's like 15 stories high. It that makes my little preschool heart beat fast. Yeah, so um, us keeping keeping like a 60 to 100 kids, like that's all yes. we cater to. I really feel like that's going to be a great niche for us. I think that that's good for us. It keeps us in that like little family. I love it's it. what we do well. Yeah, I, love I think it. we have to do what we do well, and that's what we do well. Totally agree. Can I go back to the kindergarten thing real quick? Please. What I wanted for the kindergarten is also kindergarten is like a rite of passage. It is, it's amazing. So if you're going to stay on with us and you've already been here, then it won't. It's not like that big day where you've got your new big backpack and you get on that great big bus and you go to this crazy place called school. So there's some of that that is a rite of passage. And so I'm really excited that we are going to have that kindergarten zone um, so that you are here where you are comfortable and yet it's a completely different program and you're not, you are still doing that um, Montessori approach within your classes, but you are not with everyone else. You have your own curriculum and you are a big kindergartner and that's a big deal. So I just wanted to... If people were wondering how is that, it, it is a rite of passage. I think it's um, appropriate, and it's um, it's a big day. I'll never forget my first day of kindergarten. I think I'm, a lot of us feel that way. So we're going to really honor that transition and really call them out to be the big, smart kids that they are. Mm. I love it. Thank you. I love it. So this is, in my mind, those are the uh, big three things that are kind of happening right now. We are getting ready for summer, uh, mm -hmm. transitioning our building into a summer program. That's really cool. Um, we are transitioning into kindergarten come fall. Mm -hmm. uh, that's amazing i'm really excited about that i never when we i think when we started this we never thought no. that's the direction that we would move into but you know you, you well i think that the need is the parents it's Absolutely. the parents it's a parent driven need because um where we are right now in loudon there's only half day kindergartners and right. i think a lottery like i'm new to the area so a lottery for like full time i've never seen that before yeah. but loudon's growing so big so fast there just isn't space yeah. Um, some parents are really having to jump through hoops. I, I, mean, I can't imagine mm -hmm. being at work somewhere in Washington and having to figure out how to get your child who's just done half day kindergarten. So now you're paying again for a pickup and yeah. a whole day. I just think yeah. it's a lot of transition. And I, I know personally, um, you're exactly right. I know also that Loudon, they say one day we'll go to full day kindergarten. I think everybody's crossing their fingers yeah. for that. And, and even when it happens, I think our, our 15 student kindergarten class is always going to be here just because it's more one-on-one -on -one, yeah. I think some kids really need that not everybody needs that Absolutely. but some, some people really need that Absolutely some of our key families that have been here now with uh, with preschool yes. they've um they're asking are you going to do it do you have it what what are we going to do come time mm -hmm. for kindergarten we really like this place we want to continue uh, can we make that happen so that's um So we said we'll get back to you on that <laughs> and, and this is us getting back to you it's going to happen We're so excited It's going to happen Yes um sweet um, we're really good on time. Should we tell everybody about the time that I wrecked your car? <laughs> yeah, never let Master Alley or Don Alley, whichever, uh, borrow your car. It just, it just, I don't know if this will even make it to the video, but just in case it does, and it's a great story. It's not uh, a great, it's not so a great story. So I'm a martial arts instructor, right? I, I run Super Kicks Karate, and, um... And I used to be your personal assistant? She was my assistant. She did my everything 
to, to run, my, run, yes. run my life. It was not a little life. It was well, a that's a what I just meant. Like you, just your life, Thanks. not that your life was a little. Thanks um, for the love. So uh, the they were my students, family, whole family training, and I for whatever reason because my car is mess up a lot of times because you don't get the oil change and you don't keep up with the maintenance because you're pink slip alley but we'll leave that for another another story another story. so i had to borrow her car <laughs> i had to borrow her car so i'm driving this van and i like this little van and we liked the little van. yeah thanks and i'm sitting at a stoplight and uh i look in the rear view mirror and there's a car approaching me very quickly i'm stopped i'm i'm obeying the law and this is my, story. my I'm borrowed sure it, it is in my borrowed car i'm sitting there and I get slammed into from uh, from behind, and I think I can't believe this just happened. Did this really just happen? And they kept on going, and they made a right turn. I thought I gotta go catch these people, so, <laughs> I, so I speed up. So the then, ninja gets out, yeah. runs out. So I speed up, and then I hear the car like, and I thought maybe I shouldn't like keep on going. Luckily, um, luckily uh, I was okay. Uh, yes. I don't know whatever happened to the people that actually hit me. But um, her van was totaled. Totaled. And the moral, the best part of the story is that. Um, and I think it's the worst part of the story. I think this is the great part of the story. So then the they it was totaled. So the insurance they paid her whatever they paid her. But then her family used that money to go ahead and pay off their martial arts membership. So um, it so was you, like full circle. It was awesome. I mean, so you wreck our car and then get paid. Pretty much. And I'm completely out of the loop now. I'm out of a car. And the check that's coming to get the car is now gone. But I didn't take that. I mean, they offered that to me. I didn't suggest it. I don't think I suggested it. I may have, but I don't think I did. Are you... <laughs> it's, another, it's another day. It's another day. We'll leave it to I don't think so. I, I, think, don't... I think Ryan was like, hey, let's pay off. My let's husband, pay off super Yes, kicks. we love to pay off debt. Paying yeah. off debt is really good. So if yeah. you have it, you need to pay it off. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's ironic that we let you borrow our car. You smash the car. The check comes to us to buy our new car, and we pay you because you smashed our car. I, it, what world is this? Everything good happens for Don. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Anything else? Can I talk about Anything hiring? Else? Oh, please. Oh, my word. So this summer, um, some of my <clears throat> teachers who are amazing teachers and we love and they're going to come back in the fall, they're teachers because they also love to have their little summers off to be um, with their families, and I absolutely encourage that. So I'm going to need summer help honestly and then i need absolutely quality care and assistance and even um a kindergarten teacher for the fall we're going to start interviewing and i think this is maybe it's a good forum if you know anyone Most definitely. please send them to me i would love to meet with people um and we will put it i think we'll put it out on where do we usually do our indeed in craigslist indeed indeed yes, yes. indeed yes indeed yes, so indeed. that we'll be doing that so that's that's a need that's coming up mm -hmm. Um, and I'm really excited about that. Yeah. I love our little, I love, I say little a lot because I'm in preschool and they're our little friends and it's a cute little preschool. So, um, you and my little life, I wrecked your little car. Uh, for the love. So yes, that's the next great thing. I'm I look forward to that because yeah. then I, I enjoy meeting people and, yeah. um, having the diversity that's here in, in Loudoun is amazing. So yeah. it's a fabulous, beautiful community and mm -hmm. I'm really happy to be a part of it. Me too. Me okay. too. All right, I don't think... I think that's it. I think that's that it. wasn't too crazy. That wasn't too bad. I'm We're still really rolling. proud of you. You are? Yeah. Well, thanks, why? I thought, well, I thought you were going to throw some zingers at me. No, or... I just wanted us to talk. Okay. This wasn't too painful. She was really nervous that I was going to like... Yes. So, tell me about the time or uh, whatever it was going to be. Whatever. Easy peasy. Okay. All right, center stage. Um, Preschool. We're rolling presenters age preschool, kindergarten, child care. Summer camp. Summer camp. New hires. Heather extraordinary. New families. Yeah. Yeah, Heather is okay. We're good. I'm an okay person. All right. Bye. See ya.